Okay, in this video we're going to look at bar graphs, absolute change and percentage change. And um, please take this much down. You don't need to write down the uh, numbers here and the dates because you can just read them off the video, right? So um, we're going to use scratch paper and a calculator. So please make sure you have uh, a calculator on hand and press pause and go get one if you need one or press pause to take down this table if you need to and the pause is located in the bottom left of the screen okay so what we're going to do is see what absolute change and percentage change means if you ever see those terms you might remember what they mean so uh, we'll start with the decade 1950 to 1960 Okay. The world population went from 2.56 to 3.04 billion people, right? Billions. So the uh, and, and just just so we look at these numbers, 2.56 billion looks like this. You might know that. Uh, so it has, you know, it, it's basically 2,560 million. Okay, so we went from here to 3.04 billion, which looks like this. Okay, so a lot of people to even more people. Now, um, how much did it increase by? That is the absolute change in the decade. Okay. In, in population during the decade. So the absolute change is this number minus this number. And you could plug these numbers into a calculator, but it's easier just to do this, isn't it? It's easier just to go 3.04 minus 2.56 equals, right? So I'll plug that in your calculator, see what you get. So the population increased by 0 0.48 billion people, right? Which looks like this. Um, 480 million. Okay. So it went from this in 1950. It, in 1950 was this number, then it increased by this number and became this number, right? So anyway, the absolute change is the actual change. It's, you know, 0 0.48. Okay percentage change means how different has the world become since 1950 that's what it's asking so in 1950 we started with 2 billion 560 million people and then we increased by 480 million so so how what what was the kind of difference in, in the increase type of thing like like how does that look so to speak is what percentage changes so anyway what you do is you just get the change and you divide that by the initial value so we started with so 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 well, well let's do our change first so our change was 0 0.48 or 480 million and we began with in 1950 2.56 or two two and a half billion okay and you know how does the change kind of compare to what you started with like how much did it, does, does it feel like it's increased like the double or what you know that type of thing so we divide that and we get a, a number and then we're going to turn it to a percent so we can kind of understand it so 0 0.48 divided by 2.56 your calculator is 0.187. Okay. Now we're just going to round that to the nearest. Well, I'll show. I'll, I'll write it all down. I'll write it all down for now. 0 0.1875. Okay. And turn that into a percentage. How do you turn that into a percentage? Move the decimal point two spaces to the right. Right. So that's 18.75%. Okay. 
or just so we we're going to I'm going to round let's round all these to the nearest percent because we're going to make a bar graph with it and um it's easier to kind of say cuz this will round up to 19 right to the nearest uh whole number so it's approximately 19% and it's easier to say okay 19% instead of 18.75 it, it okay so we'll say our percentage change was 19% so the world's population increased by 19% in the decade 1950 to 1960. Does that make sense? And it increased by 480 million people. So a little bit quicker now we'll do the decade 1960 to 1970 and we'll find the absolute change. Okay. How would you find that? 1970 3.71 billion. So we begin with 3.04 billion in 1960. Then we go to 3.71 in 1970. So how much is that increased by? 3.71 minus 3.04 equals. On your calculator, 0 0.67. So that's the absolute change. 0 0.67 billion people, right? more than half a billion people. Uh, now let's get the percentage change. Okay, So percentage change is the change over the kind of initial value. Now in this decade the initial value is 1960. So we're looking at how do, what's the percentage change in the decade 1960 to 1970. Because in 1960 you see we started with 3.04 billion people. Okay. Oh, let me just show you this on the screen. And the change was, the increase was 0 0.67 billion people. So, how much did the population increase in that decade, is what we're asking, right? So, put that in the calculator. 0 0.67 over 3.04 and we have 0 0.2204 about. Turn that into a percentage, what have you got? Move the decimal point one, two spaces over and we get 22.04 percent and let's round that to the nearest whole number, whole percent Twenty two percent, right? So we round down. Okay, twenty two percent. Okay, so between night from nineteen sixty to nineteen seventy, there's an increase of zero point six seven billion, and that is twenty two percent more people on the planet. Okay, so press pause and see if you can figure out from nineteen seventy to 1980 what was the absolute change and what was the percentage change in the world population. So press pause and do that and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you've tried it. Now I'm going to do it. So I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it really quickly now. So the population went from 3.71 to 4.45. So 4.45, the, you know, the new number might uh, minus the old uh, new population minus the old population, let's say 3.71 is 0 0.74. So that's the absolute change, 0 0.74. And if we take the absolute change or the actual change over the initial number in this decade, which is 3.74. We started with 3.71 billion, so that over 3.71, we get 0.1995, which is approximately 19.95 percent, which of course is, uh, which is uh, which is of course approximately 20 percent rounded up. Okay, so the percentage change was 20 percent. So now what I'd like to do is press pause and calculate 
the absolute change and the percentage change for each uh, decade up to 2010. Okay, so you got to go, uh, then you got to go 1990 to 2000, and then you got to go 2000 to 2010, right? So please press pause and calculate these values, and um, then we'll make a bar graph. Now we're really quickly going to do some bar graphs. This will uh, really help you in this chapter as regards reading bar graphs and also we will see more bar graphs in uh, future chapters throughout the book. So we're just going to do two uh, for this uh, section uh, and as quick as we can and that's it. But I think it really helps just to kind of do your own by hand just to get really get a good feel for for what what they are so the first bar graph we're going to do is uh, population of the world um, on the um, output let's say and year on the input so you start with the year and then you give the population okay so the data we need for that or the numbers we need for that are just the numbers we're given at the beginning the date and then the population right or the year and the population so um, then, w oh, oh, by the way, uh, this graph paper, you could either use squared paper that you might have yourself or uh, check on the website and I'll provide you with some on the website, okay? And you can print it off, so um, so please do that if you need to. Now, um, the question is, w we've got these years, 1950, 60, 70, 80, 90 and so on, and this is the outputs, I mean, how do you, how do you decide what to put on the axes? That's a good question. Well, um, let's start with the years anyway. We've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years to consider. So you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but at that point you'd only be to this part of the axis and it mightn't look good to the eye. Um, so you might think, well, if this is seven and then we've got three, four, five, six, seven, about 14, 21. So about, you know, three squares. If you give yourself three squares for each year, that would bring you as far as here, and that might look nice. So that's just a, it, it, there's no science to it, it's just, just, it's an artistic thing, just to kind of make it look nice and not all bunched together. But in any case, so what I'm trying to say is, one, one idea would be, hey, how about this, what should we do, uh, you know, the 1950 bar here, and then we might say skip one, or, or you can even skip two, um, one or two um, spaces and do the next year, but I'll I'll just skip one space. So I'll just say okay, 19. This will be the 1960 bar here and so on, right? Uh, now on on the on the population scale. Okay, so so then my point is then we'll have you know 1970 here, and then this will be the bottom of the bar for 1980. Then we got 1990. And then we got 2000, right? And then we got, uh, you know, uh, 2010, okay? So 1970, and then this is 80, and this is 90, and this is 2000, and this is 2010, right? Um, whoops, sorry. So now on, on the population, it, we've, if you look at the numbers here, you got 2.56 increasing all the way to 6.85. And so, if you're going to scale your um, output um, uh, axis here, you m could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But again, that only brings up here. Mightn't look very nice. So why don't we say double that or even triple it, right? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could probably triple it. So we could probably do say. Um, well, you could do two or three uh, squares for for each number. So what we let's just do is we how about if we just go zero, one, and then two. Again, there's 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 no right or wrong, but it is it's it's good to try and make it look kind of neat. Okay, so this is the population billions going from zero billion, one billion, two billion, up to eight, right? So 1950, there were 2.56 billion people. Okay, I ah, wish I could show this a little bit better. One sec, just zoom out a little bit there. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. So 1952.56 billion people. So I uh, really need to zoom in, actually, don't I? So um, 2.56 is, is halfway between 2 and 3. Now, the 2 billion would be along this line exactly. Just remember that. Like, 2 billion would be along this line here. 3 billion would be exactly on that line. So we've got to go in between for the 2.56. Like, just maybe just barely above that 2.5. Does that make sense? So we're going to go there for 2.56. Just to get an idea, right? Uh, 3.04 would be barely above 3, or practically on 3, right? So that would be here. Where would 3.71 be? How would you put that bar? Do 3.71. Oops. So for 1970, it's 3.71, isn't it? So 3.71 would go, let me just ah, try and get this on the screen, do, 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 do. one section. Okay, there we go. One more. Okay, there we go. 3.71 would be just not as far as 4, but just above 3.5 type of thing, right? So about there. And the next one is 4.45. So we'll do a bar for each one of these and see what you come up with. Press pause and try your best and see how see what it looks like, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try that. I'm going to do it really quickly now. So 1984.45, about there, just underneath four and a half. Uh, 1995.29 about there and 2006.09 about there And 2010, 6.85, right? So it's just underneath 7, really, isn't it? Now, this is the 7 line, 7 billion, so just underneath that, be right there, okay? Okay, so this bar graph shows the population of the world increasing every decade, 1950, 60, 70, 80, every 10 years. And, uh, you know, bar graphs are nice. I mean, it really gives you, especially when they start from zero, because you can actually almost pick this one up and put it on here. In fact, if I if I made that red, you see, make that red, and you actually put that one over there, you can really see how much the population has increased from 1950 to 2010. It's increased quite a lot. All this, let's put that in, you know, green or something you know so I mean it's that's that's the fun thing about bar graphs they give you a good visual on the numbers I mean you could look at these numbers and and and, and uh, not really kind of comprehend what they mean but once you kind of draw things then then you can really see so the that's the reason for bar graphs so you can actually see what the numbers really are and almost touch them so anyway so uh, we're going to do another bar graph for decade and percentage change so the percentage change, the decade is going to be 1950 to 1960 and so on, and then the percentage change would be 19%, 22% and so on. So this will be our input, and this is our output. So our so on the decade, um, again we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well we've got 6 decades here. So let's do the same thing as above, so we'll just give it 2, this will be the, the bar for 1950 uh, to 60 and then we'll do a bar for 60 to 70 and then a bar for uh, 70 to 80 and so on right and then we need to uh, figure out how far I want the axes to go or, or how am I going to label the axes here right so 19 to 12, well how about, um, 
you could go up in ones probably you might have 22 because the, the numbers go I mean the, the biggest number is 22 the smallest number is 12 you could you could go up in ones uh, that'd be one way to do it or you could just uh, kind of go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 up to there that could be 20 so whichever you like um, I think I'll do mine going up in 1 so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 3, 4, 5 that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, um, 50 to 60, the percent change was 19%, so that would be all the way exactly there, wouldn't it? One below 20, so we'll just do that as quick as we can. and 60 to 70 percent change would be 22 percent which is all the way up here and please press pause and do the rest of them so press pause and finish off that bar graph okay so I hope you managed to finish the bar graph and it should look something like this Okay, so now given bar graphs, um, you might be asked general questions about them. Well, let me give you a general question for the first bar graph. You might be asked something like, describe in general how the population has changed over time. Okay, so this is just the year and the world population. Why, how would you answer something like that? It has from the graph, bar graph we can see it has clearly increased over time. Right? So you could just write population has increased over time. Um, and also you could yeah uh, 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 and, and then the question is well do you expect it to increase more? And how much more? And so so we'll get into an, and into trying to predict the future in, in this section and in later sections also. So I mean, it's possible that population could drop, but from past history, it looks like it, it'll probably probably just keep continuing up uh, for the near future anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at the other bar graph, and you might be asked something like this. You might be asked describe in general how the population growth has changed over time because here we have the growth of the population the percentage change so in the f in the 50s the population increased 19 percent and then the 60s increased 22 percent and the 70s increased 20 percent and so on so how has it changed over time based on that bar graph how would you answer that so once again, I mean, we we can think of this as the percentage change, or the this is also the population growth. Because this is how fast it has increased each decade, right? Or how much it has increased by each decade. So how has this growth changed over time? Well, you might say, well, it obviously it increased uh, from 50s to 60s, and then after the 60s is gradually decreased the population is gradually decreased so you could say something like the population growth has been decreasing since 1960 that would be one thing you could mention um, and and then we'll also in this chapter get into predicting the future I mean based on this do you think that the population growth is going to shoot back up to you know 20% or something again or do you think it's going to continue the steady pattern and keep going down so that the of course the population will probably keep increasing it looks like but so it'll probably keep increasing in the future uh, 2020 2030 but it um the growth won't be as 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 high so it looks like it'll increase in smaller amounts so to speak right